like, yes! This mission, I recommend you get you uh, kill stuff until you're level 5. Because uh, this guy is a lot easier to take down when you get your skills. So yeah, that's the first big boss of the game. Which is going to be talked about by the angel right away, I think. I think. I don't know. Anyways, if you come down this path, we are on a different path now. This is to the right of uh, TK, and uh, Firestone is over there. Uh, there's another pit with some skags here you can take out if you want. I want to take advantage of this experience grabbing place. Woo. Not go away, not today. Just go lay there. Oh yeah, I was going to show off some stuff. Okay, so now we're into here. Um, here is your weapon proficiency. Uh, basically, the more you use a weapon, the better you get with it. As you can see, I've been using my submachine gun a lot more uh, within the pistol, so it's actually at a higher, a little bit higher in the bar. Eventually, you'll get to the max, and then it'll level up, and you'll get some sort of boost when using those kind of weapons. I don't plan on using these two that uh, for the pretty much this entire game, because I like... Uh, shotgun machine, a uh, combat rifle, sniper rifle sort of combo with uh, maybe a Iridian weapon or a launcher or something else added on, but mainly I use these three weapons. So yeah, and then you get your uh, basic uh, stats, if you go up to the top you get your level and experience, etc, and you got ammo and such. Basic status screen. Uh, and then inventory I've already showed you. Uh, here is the skill list, I'll talk about that when we get to level 5. Uh, here's your mission log. This is the one I wanted to show you. So your current missions, your currently active mission shows up at the top here. Uh, if you hit Y, you'll get what I call the experience achievements. Uh, some of these will get you gamer score achievements, like X uh, the Xbox achievements. Uh, but all of these will give you experience if you complete a task. So here, if I kill a th 100 enemies with critical hits, so if, yeah, if I finish them off with critical hits, uh, 100 enemies, I'll get a thousand experience. And as you can see, I've already got 25 out of the 100. Uh, accumulative, yeah. And as you can see, I've actually already got one. I got the Relentless one, which is kill five enemies in succession with no more than seven seconds between each kill. And that got me an easy 500 experience. These things are, these uh, challenges are where you get all your experience right off the bat. It, you get a lot of quick experience with these. Yes. And I recommend you get a lot of these. Like, this is where your real experience is. But this is the one I wanted to show you. This is 12 Days of Pandora. This is a secret achievement. And as you can see there, uh, just uh, it has a long list of things you have to use. Assault rifle kills, pistol kills, shotgun kills, etc, etc, etc. As you can see, I got the pistol and the SMG ones already, which is what I was aiming for. And I also got the critical hit one, which is not surprising. Because uh, I got 25 of them already. But yeah, this one will be pretty quick. You, uh, except for the faces melted, incendiary, and the shock kills. Those ones are elemental kills, and they'll take a little bit longer to do. Basically, you have to melt a face off, uh, kill somebody by burning them, like lighting them on fire, and having them like turn into ash. Uh, then there's just shock kills, which is lightning, and then explosive kills. Like, yeah, it, it all these weapons have different status inflictions. But yeah, that's a, an achievement you're going to be going for. Um, yeah. So you can just follow along with these, it's quite easy. And for now, I'm just going to go and kill some things. I am, however, going to head back into town, I think, and see what's at this shop. Actually, no, since I've gotten the pistol one, I'm going to go equip my scatter gun now. There, I got a shotgun out now. So like every shotgun, you just get close, shoot him in the head. And I shot too high. Powerful. Yes. I'm cheap like that. <coughs> oh, I'm being shot at. 
What's shooting at me? You are, apparently. Yes, feel it. Boom, headshots. Okay, we're gonna head out now and see if we can get some more experience in the Bad dog. Down. Down. They're worse than zerglings. Because zerglings are actually cool. Uh, head up here. There's some more skag pits. Oh yeah, this is towards... I'm heading towards uh, Nine Tails now. Or Nine... Nine Toes. Yes. Uh, there's some more pits here some guys will come out of. Shotgun isn't killing stuff I'm gonna hit like I was hoping it would. Hey, critical! His head disappeared. What was that? I don't know. Uh, smash this, get some shotgun shells. Pick up ammo whenever you can. Okay, so you wanna just head over here. X. He was talking about nine toes there. Anyways, if you come up to here, you'll find this waypoint transport area. Just hit X and you transport to whatever area is there, which is Skag Gully. I wonder if there's any Skags in there. And for getting to Skag Gully and discovering it, you get an easy five gamer score. Easy. Uh, over here, you'll find ammo, health. You can buy shields there if you want. But I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to head out. <clears throat> uh, there's oh, an ammo chest. The simple ones, which the lid just lifts off, is an ammo chest. Always has ammo. Never has any weapons, really. Except for grenades. Those are weapons. <clears throat> oh, and a skag whelp. I think I'm going to grenade these. That was a good one. I got one of them. Down, dog. Boom. Oh! Ding, newbie! Oh, yeah. That button. Uh, we're in level 5. And uh, at level 5, we get a skill point. Uh, yes. And as it says here, Lilith's action will action skill allows her to phase walk into another dimension. When she enters another and enters and exits this dimension, she releases a powerful phase blast that damages nearby enemies. And she turns invisible when walking around and can't be hurt. And of course, I was hit when that was happening. Yes. I think I gained a secondary experience like a, a experience achievement there and that's why I got the, the point anyways we are going to spend this point now so we go to here this is our skill screen every level from now on will get a skill point which we can spend the first one is always this one which is our main skill so as you can see I gained phase walk and uh, once doing so we gained all these next ones um, with Lilith the main damage with her is with Phoenix. If you get this at a high enough level, everything around you will burn to the ground. Yeah, like, seriously, it'll do 300 points of damage, like, three times a second. So you're doing basically a thousand points of damage to any enemy easily. Uh, easily a thousand. Plus everything else, because you can do shock damage, which you can electrocute enemies and uh, do extra damage. You can add corrosive damage to your melee. It's, she is devastating when you actually get enough skill points into these uh, added effects. And then over here you got your uh, general powers for her. 
Uh, she can cause dazing with a lot of her weapons, like this first one is melee, and this one is with the phase blast, entering and exiting your phase walk. But yeah, uh, this skill here, the phoenix, and this one over here, the inner glow, are two of the key ones I recommend putting five points, which is your max, right into as soon as you can. Uh, they'll just help you throughout this entire game. Of course, this one's a lot harder to get to. Um, there are some good skills over here, but I got through the entire game without any of them last time. Actually, I had a couple in here, but I that was it. I mainly focused on these two columns. Anyways, moving on. Now if we push the uh, left bumper, we're able to activate that. And yay, it's activating! And in the bottom left, you can see there.